All right, back in the basement again today to talk about this bar that I teased on my YouTube story. I occasionally post on that. Some people see it, some people don't. But on Christmas Day, I had a little bit of downtime, aka I was sitting on the can, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to share this picture of this bar that I've had for almost a year now, and that's a 29 millimeter Texas Power Bar by Texas Power Bars and the legend Buddy Caps. Now, like I said, I've had this bar for a while. I've been sitting on it for close to a year. Sitting on it's probably a bad term to use when you're talking about in a very aggressively knurled barbell, but I've had this bar for a while. Texas Power Bars actually came out and filmed a lot of promotional content for it that was back in like March or April of this year. And still nothing has been mentioned or have they communicated to me since then. So I posted that picture kind of as like a plea because they haven't been responding to my messages like, can I post this? What's the deal? So I probably ended up burning whatever bridges I had left with Texas Power Bars in favor of getting some momentum for this barbell, which I think is great overall. So it's almost like release the basement cut. You know, there's the Snyder cut. This is the basement cut. Content exists. The people have not yet seen it. So long story short on this, you guys know, I've been somewhat critical of Texas Power Bars when it comes to their actual power bar in context of other bars, just because typically it's always been 20 and a half millimeters, which isn't a huge difference than a 29 millimeter power bar for a lot of people. But when you factor in that iconic thicker collar of a Texas Power Bar and the slightly thinner diameter, a lot of people complain that as the bar gets heavier, especially on squats, a lot more whip or flex is felt versus other similar bars with maybe a little bit beefier spec. So I've been in that camp myself. The Texas Power Bar, don't get me wrong, is still a classic. It's still a great overall power bar, but I think it might be able to be updated just a bit and be even better. And that's where we have this particular barbell. And I really do think this is a solid bar and a solid offering and something that many people should be able to get their hands on. In fact, since I've had this for so long, I used it primarily for some of my meat preps last year. You've actually seen this in use in some of my clips and footage that I've shown you on some of my heaviest lifts I've ever done. Didn't have any problems with it then. I just couldn't really talk about it. So there's a couple of things different. As I mentioned, number one, far and away, the biggest difference that's the easiest to tell is that it's a 29 millimeter diameter bar, which is standard for the most part in a lot of the top level power bars out there. It's not the only difference here. They also elongated the center knurling by about an inch. So it went from four inches to five inches. They also shortened those iconic collars, but not a lot where they still lose their look. So this bar will still stand out in a crowd. You also have the actual pins on the end holding the sleeves on. Again, that iconic Texas power bar look with the logo on the inside as well that is kind of recessed a little bit. So with the collars, they shrunk them roughly around a half an inch each. Also, if you take a look at the distance between the collars where they start, that distance has been shrunk just a little bit to conform more to powerlifting specifications. So this bar could potentially be used in a lot of other federations. I'll leave it at that. Uh, and overall, the distance between weights at the end of the collars has also shrunk. So the weights have come in with that and the thicker diameter means this bar is much more stiff than previous generation Texas power bars. You do so, however, get, like I said, the iconic look. So there's no mistaking this bar from other Texas Power Bars, which I think a lot of people like because it is unique in the thicker collars and the way that the sleeves are held on and whatnot. And you also get that signature Buddy Caps Neural, which is really good. And they sent me a bare steel version, which I greatly appreciate because they don't offer stainless, but they offer black zinc, hard chrome, and Cerakote. And if I can, I will always choose bare steel if stainless is not available or maybe even a black oxide, which they don't offer. So this gives really good bite, really good grip. It's held up extremely well. It eats the shit out of my J-Cups, which I like, which also means that it's gonna hold on to your grip or you're going to be able to hold on to it. The longer center neural the center is nice on squats. So this bar overall, to me, is a no-brainer. And given the option, I would recommend this bar 10 times out of 10 for someone who wants an American-made barbell that's going to really stand up well for all three main power lifts. Now a knock on this bar might be that with deadlifts, it might actually be more difficult because it will be more stiff on deadlifts as well. Whereas the previous generation's Texas Power Bar is at 20 and a half. And again, the weight's pushed out a little bit further. You'd get a little bit more whip. So even if you were competing with one Power Bar for all three main lifts, that bar might give you a slight advantage over a stiffer bar that's out there. But again, I think the trade-off is there. So 
basically for this video, what I wanted to get off my chest is this bar is available, or at least it is possible, I should say, because I think this is right now is a one of one. I don't know anyone else out there who has this bar. I really wish Texas Power Bars would release it. And unfortunately, I'm probably ruining any reputation and relationship that I've had with them by going and just releasing this, but they haven't responded to my messages. So I'm hoping that people see this and reach out to them and say, hey, I saw a 29 millimeter power bar. Can I get one of those? And hopefully it kind of kicks them into gear to at least either say, no, it's not something we're gonna move forward with, or yeah, you know, the demand is there. Let's go ahead and start producing these things. So hopefully you appreciate me sacrificing myself for you and potentially other future barbells from them. But I think this bar needs to be felt by you. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great holiday season. We'll catch you next video and stay big. Too many endings for this particular one. We'll talk to you next time. Woo!